Good morning, Chip here with Hybrid and Electric Car Sales coming to you from beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, it's a little overcast today, so not so beautiful, but I'm coming to you with this 2010 Prius that uh, came into the shop, and I want to kind of talk about a problem that it's having, uh, or was having, we're about to fix it, but we put an engine in this car about three months ago. It uh, had the death rattle, and uh, you know, with that, you, we don't do head gassets, we just replace the whole engine with a used one, and uh, everything was good, uh, and then uh, she got... She said she got a check engine light, heard a pop, and some coolant started leaking out. And I thought that was weird, so she towed the car up here, and uh, here's what we found. I'm going to show you guys. Let me flip the camera around, all right? Hold on. All right, and this is what we found. So we were looking here, and we're like, uh, you know, there's some leaking coolant down there. We could see some. You see it down there on the top of the motor mount. Uh, so we looked around the coolant tank, and, you know, we noticed there's a cracked bracket there, but that's not, wasn't leaking there. So we pulled that all up. Water pump, we put a brand new water pump on it. Uh, when we did the replacement, it wasn't leaking out the water pump. That's what I initially thought it was. Um, she said she had a check engine light, but it went away. So, but there was a history code for uh, a coolant temperature sensor. Um, and the only thing that we saw was a little bit of blowout right here. Like it came out of the top of the radiator cap and she did mention that she did top off the coolant. So um, we went to the coolant temperature sensor to start there. And turns out that if you have that code and it can overheat the engine, causing the water pump not to pump, and you can actually overheat if that sensor goes bad. So that actually is what it turned out to be. $40 sensor to put into this, and it's gonna fix it right up. So we got the part, and that's about what we're gonna do here with this car. But uh, it was a unique situation. I thought maybe I got a bad engine, but it was unlikely. Uh, you know, but you know, if you get that P0117, I believe the code was, and the car's overheating, um, it's it's not the water pump or or anything else. It's just your cooling temperature sensor. So check that out, and uh, you know hopefully this helps somebody. And check us out at Hybrid and Electric Car Sales uh, at six one six Bradley Court. We do service here. We got a bunch of Gen three Priuses. We're going to be bringing the market here shortly. Um, all sorts of repairs for hybrid and electric cars and sales. So uh, www.hybridandelectriccarsales.com or check us out at 616 Bradley Court in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. Have a great day. All right, Chip here, pro tip, uh, just finishing up with this job. Disconnect the inverter cables. Just, you know, disconnect your battery, disconnect the inverter cables. It makes it so much easier to get your hand down in there. Uh, I struggled with it for a little while, trying to wedge my hand down in there. At the end of the day, it was extra five minutes to take those. Do it, do it right the first time.